morning. Today I want to talk about some last minute meal ideas. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of feels to me like sometimes in the winter time, it's the time for gathering. People get together, they spend time together, they do things together, and a lot of times they're hungry. They're hungry crowds of people, and that happens. You know, that's normal. People get hungry, they want to eat. I find it difficult to plan ahead, you know, how many people are coming over. You don't really know until they show up or they don't. And sometimes it's very impromptu. It's a last minute gathering. So you're thinking, do we just order out for pizza? Which you could do, you know. But sometimes it's breakfast and you don't want pizza. Sometimes you have a late night, people stay over. And so you're thinking, what am I gonna feed them in the morning? Because I can't send them home on an empty stomach, or at least that's what I would think. So I've put together some last minute meal ideas and I think the big tip is to leverage your freezer. A lot of these things you can purchase in advance at the beginning of the season and keep them in your freezer in case you need them, you know, for the day after Thanksgiving or, you know, a gathering between Christmas and New Year's or whatever. You have a last minute gathering of people, you just go to your freezer instead of thinking, oh, we have to order out. It's a lot easier to look at your freezer, shop your stash before you look elsewhere at delivery or um, trying to go to the store or make something from scratch. So I have put together some last minute meal ideas. I'd love to hear any of yours in the comments, but let's get started with breakfast. So I went to the store and I was looking in the freezer aisle and they didn't have a great big frozen quiche, which is what sort of what I wanted to show you. I like the idea of a frozen quiche because you can put it in the freezer, you pull it out, you bake it, it's breakfast for a lot of people. You could also make a frittata at home, which is a, basically a quiche without a crust. So it's keto friendly, gluten free friendly, it's a lot easier to customize so you can serve a lot of people's different diet restrictions, those kinds of things. So I like the frozen quiche, but it doesn't work for everyone. My Sam's Club didn't actually have the big frozen quiche, but they had were little mini quiches, which I like even a little bit more because they're an assortment of flavors. I think it's two different kinds of quiche in there, which is nice, but you can have, you know, a couple or you could serve it with some things on the side. So maybe you only need like one or two instead of three or four of them to fill you up. But I think that it's nice to add to like a breakfast buffet too. So I really like the mini quiches. Like I said, I didn't see a big one in the freezer section, but that doesn't mean they're not there. I just didn't see one at my store. If you're looking for another breakfast idea, I know the butter board is a big, like, what is it, TikTok sensation right now, which is fine. You know, I think it's a really interesting concept. I don't know that I would ever need a whole butter board. I did see one that was cream cheese instead of butter. I think you could go half and half. So you could do half butter, half cream cheese. And so if you served bagels or bagel bites, like little, um, like you could take big whole bagels and cut them into chunks and serve them with your uh, cream cheese board or instead of putting it on a board, you could just put it in a bowl with other different toppings and have a bagel buffet, which I think sounds like fun. And you could do that with muffins too. So you could have muffins and bagels and butter and cream cheese and jams and different kinds of toppings like nuts and fruit. I think that could be really fun. You know, not if not for breakfast, then as a part of your breakfast. One of the things that I think gathers people a lot in the wintertime is sports. At least that's something that I like to do with other people. I like to watch games with, with friends and family. And so wings are a really popular football food or sport food or food in general. Now I found these boneless wings, like they're basically like nuggets, right? Chicken nuggets at Sam's in a bag, but they're not sauced. So I like to sauce my own wings. Basically you take butter, melt it down, and then you add whatever flavor you like. If it's buffalo, if you want to add garlic, red pepper flake, if you want to have some sort of like Korean barbecue sauce, toss it with 
that and then so you've got your butter plus flavor equals your own wing sauce but i think it's fun and if you buy a great big bag like this you can do lots of different flavors you can serve a lot of people and it's not quite as expensive as ordering out and you can keep the bag in your freezer so you don't have to worry about like how long is it going to take to order delivery for wings or how far away are we from a place to get food for everyone so i like this idea of keeping them in the freezer going back to my initial tip leverage your freezer use your freezer shop your stash but basically try to be stocked up in advance another great way to feed a lot of people at once is a huge pot of soup or pasta i found these different packages of pasta at sam's club and i think that this would be really easy to just toss in a sauce and then feed two people you could just have some fresh pasta in your refrigerator it cooks so quickly you just toss it in a sauce and then you can feed a whole bunch of people with it. If you don't need a full meal, it's really nice to have something like a charcuterie board. If you've got some hunks of cheese and a little bit of meat in your refrigerator, you can just lay it out on a charcuterie board and it feeds a lot of people. It's really interesting. Everybody gets to kind of build their own and it's sort of interactive and fun, but you don't have to cook anything and it's not a full meal. So if it, you're in an in-between time, but people are feeling snacky, that's a great way to make sure that you're feeding some people. Lastly, I wanna talk about the deli section at the grocery store. Now I have a little bit of footage from the one here at Sam's Club, at my local Sam's Club, and that is the rotisserie chicken. They've also got some pre-made meals. All you have to do is put it in your oven. Some of these are freezer friendly, so you can purchase it, keep it in your freezer, pull it out when you're ready to use it or eat it. Some of them are not quite so freezer friendly, but mine has, my Sam's Club has a chicken Alfredo. They've got a really cool taco kit that I think can feed a bunch of people. You could buy a couple of these and then have it like a taco party with your friends. And it's a nice way to break up the routine of the heavy meals during the holiday season, something light like a taco bar, I think can be really fun. They also have pre-made side dishes. So if you have a great big pot roast or something in the crock pot going that's a main dish but you don't have a side dish, you can get a mac and cheese, you can get some Brussels sprouts. It's really easy to get some nice fresh sides that are pre-made so you don't even have to do anything. I wanted to talk about some last minute meal ideas. I hope that this has helped give you a little bit of inspiration and approach. I hope it helps you approach this holiday season full of gatherings with a little bit of calmness. I know that it's it's been a while since we've really gathered together in this way and I'm I'm excited about this season and seeing all these people and having all these gatherings. I think it's going to be really nice. So that is all that I wanted to talk about today. Like I said, if you have any last minute meals that are your best friend, anything that is your go-to during this season, let us know in a comment. I'm looking forward to that. So you guys will see me in another video tomorrow. Bye.